we're heading up to a campsite near Irasu. It's gonna be really, really nice. Hopefully it's got some cool weather. Then after we can head up to the volcano and do some hikes around there. Finally get to where the worms is. Great view here of Burialba volcano right there. We're up above the clouds. Just got up here with Kurt. Snow's flying home for the vaccine. So, and we rolled up here, I think 11,000 feet, freezing cold. And Kurt's gonna do a little van maintenance here. Yeah, man, I blew a water pipe. I think probably what happened, we had some uh, bumpy roads. And I had a zip tie, and I probably popped a zip tie. Oh. Yeah, that was that was bumpy and steep and long. Just the way our van likes it. This is one reason why I need the attic. Yeah. Because something happens, I can't get this. Here, look at that, I got a piece. Oh, Whoa. sick. Where's this road go, by the way? Did you go down there? I did not, maybe we should. I'll go check it real quick. The park rangers gave us a quick stop and said, hey, you guys stay in there the night? They said, that's cool. But they said, don't have a campfire. And that's fine with me. We can stay up here for free. But Kurt said, hey, what? this spot right here, a little bit farther down, epic right there with the view of the volcano. I needed some nature. I didn't know there were coyotes up here. That's interesting. I gather this road just keeps going all the way around and down, so head back. It's getting dark a little bit, and this is really, really cold for Costa Rica. I think it's like 50 something degrees. So, got to bust out the puffies. <laughs> Feels good. You guys see how the sun is hitting that? How you doing, Kurt? I can see you. I'm done. Repairs finished, says Kurt. Dang. Found the start of some trail right here by the vans. Nice morning here in the van. Oh, that is Burrialba volcano right there. And we are on Irasu volcano. And we got Kurt using Emily's phone. Say hi to Snow since nobody has reception. <laughs> here we are in the crater. And it was like $15 entry. But we got Kurt here. Yo, hey guys, what's up? Double van and how it goes down is you get a 300 meter walk from the parking. See the crater over here? So here is the way to the crater, and up there, the viewpoint. And I'm pretty sure we were spending the night up over that hill, pretty far down the edge there. Huge sandy crater that cascades down into this crater, into that crater, and we're way up above the clouds. 10,880 feet elevation. Crater. Wow. We really, really loved how cold it was last night up here at 10,800 feet elevation. Felt like we were back in the mountains at home. Back at it again. Waking up in the van somewhere epic, checking it out the next day. It's good to be up here and outside of some crazy epic spot. We're gonna head back to the vans and head up to the viewpoint. We're up here at 11,260 feet at the top of Irasu Volcano, way above the clouds. Supposedly you can see both oceans from here on a clear day, which uh, would be another day. But it's so beautiful seeing the tops of the clouds, we're just above everything right now. And this is the crater sector 
of Irasu Park. But next we're gonna go over here and down the edge there is the Prusia sector with a bunch of nice hiking trails. Yeah, this mirror door is pretty cool. Isn't it chilling down here? This is a nice cool spot. No sun, so you got a little breeze. Watching the clouds rolling in and out. Epic. I miss this kind of stuff. I miss the cold. <laughs> oh my God, it's so nice and cold up here. It's incredible to be this far south and be cold. Sometimes it feels impossible, but you come up to 11,000 feet, no problem. The clouds have rolled out, so we have a nice view. So we were going to head over to another national park to hike a little bit, but I think we're just gonna do that tomorrow because we'll have a little bit more time. And uh, tonight, we're gonna hopefully find a spot with a good view with Kurt. There was a sign that said the bridge was in bad state, but uh, this looks a little bit worse than a, than bad state. <laughs> hey. Here we go. <gasps> this is so scary. <laughs> okay, Kurt definitely has to wait until we're done to do this one. ¿Qué son uh, estas salsas aquí? Ok, este es chile con leche de coco y panameño. Y el otro es el tradicional en Tabasco, ¿no? This one's chili with coconut milk. Today we're headed to the other side of Irasu National Park with Kurt and we're going to check out the hiking trails here in the Prusia sector which was replanted by JFK after a volcanic eruption so it's more of a Spokane, Washington kind of forest I'm used to. I'll check it out. So to get the tickets to Prusia, you have to go online and do it beforehand. The only problem with that is that none of us had internet last night. So we asked the place that we stayed if we could use their internet and they paid a cheaper price to only have the internet work at 11 o'clock at night, I guess. I had to navigate the website at 11 o'clock at night <laughs> to try and get us tickets to this, but I got it. All right, guys. Now, I'm not as good at Danny explaining this stuff, <laughs> but we're at the entrance right here while we were. That's where we parked, we came in. And we're going right up here. We're going right up here. We're right here right now at this little open forest area. And then we're gonna take this trail, this little loop around here, around there. And rumor has it, there's some Quetzals up here. Mm. So I don't know if we can see them. I don't think Danny and Emily have ever seen a Quetzal. So hopefully we do. I don't know, we'll see. We have not seen a Quetzal. I'm so stoked to find one. <laughs> the trail is really nice, so we can probably, you know, look up instead of looking down. So that'll make it a lot easier to find some yeah. wildlife. It is a good trail. And there's lots of birds. Look at that bird right there. Oh, he's cool. Aww. Is that the one on the painting? It might be. All day. <laughs> All day. <laughs> So we've been hiking through this kind of forest and it's clearly changing here. We have very tall replanted trees and these it says are pine trees, Pinus ponderosa pines. These are what you get in Spokane, ponderosa pine. Beautiful up here in Costa Rica. Amazing. We just had a ton of visitors from home, but this is just a real touch of home to smell these trees. So good, so good in here. 
Can't believe we drove here <laughs> all the way from there. <laughs> <laughs> this bark here definitely reminds me of the trees back home. You got your ponderosa pine tree, nice deep groove bark. Yeah, you love it? Yeah. Is that San Jose already? Wow. I feel like we're in the middle of nowhere, but San Jose is just right there. It's part of San Jose for sure. So San Jose would be, be down the valley there, and we're up here at Irasu Volcano. This valley right here goes up and becomes a chasm between the Prusia sector we're in and the crater portion of the park. So I think we'll get a view of the volcano up ahead. Yeah, and we have a wager on what's growing in this field right here, too. Potatoes. <laughs> you think it's potatoes? Idaho potato. Tell us yeah, in the comments. <laughs> Trying to figure out what these trees are. Yeah, there is a big debate on what these trees are. <laughs> They're just so thick and tall. Like, I don't know. I feel like there hasn't been that many Costa Rican trees that are this tall. But do you think they're Costa Rican trees or do you think they're imported? I think they are imported, but maybe they're not redwoods, but maybe they're something else. They have different kinds of leaves. And when the bark gets up high, it just looks different than any tree I've seen. Yeah, are these redwood seeds? <laughs> Emily's getting a picture of a mouse right now. Oh my gosh. I think it climbed up the tree to eat those little buds. It's, it's totally eating them. It's like standing up on its back legs. Wow, it's right on the berries. I'm gonna get my big lens out for that. See his little black oh. mask he's got on? Oh my gosh, does he even have eyes? It's so cute. All we need is some David Attenborough. A woodland mouse <laughs> likes to pollinate the flowers. One of the animals that has thrived in the modern world. Similar to a monkey, it uses its tail to stabilize itself. So does. <laughs> also found in Alt-J music videos. <laughs> it's been a beautiful hike up here at Irasu, Prusia sector. And it looks like we're coming out on another meadow here. Good view of probably Irasu. I think it's actually farther back. But that's kind of the start of its plateau up there. They replanted these sequoia trees here. And those might be eucalyptus over there. Pine trees. And JFK trying to help Costa Rica out. So here's the sequoia leaves. Hope identified in the future. Yeah. Dueling van chefs. We got Emily in here with the tofu. We got Kurt over there with the pork. <laughs> we got I got the noodle bowl going on over here. We got the assist from Vanna. <laughs> G makes an appearance. Dog, dog clearly watching. 
It's neck and neck. Who's gonna win? Dueling Van Chef competition. Oh, Kurt's adding the spicy. Wow. That looks good. The Van Chef judges approve. <laughs> what will happen next? Wow, the van chef ingredient of the day. Fresh basil. Thank you. Everything must be cooked with fresh basil in the competition Ooh. today. <laughs> the secret ingredient or the surprise ingredient. Good. The surprise van chef ingredient. Here we have representing España, the gringos. <laughs> Over here, representing Florida man. <laughs> Gee! Oy. And our cat. Emily, can you show the contestants where our cat is? Graham is up here in the loft. Chillin'. Oh, the basil smells so good. Thanks, Kurt. Noodle bowl's done. Noodle bowl is done. Uh, uh. We'd like two ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> pork noodle bowl is done. I got a little uh, pork in there, chunks of pork, some noodles, some mu fresh mushrooms, some onions, and of course the fresh basil. Wow. Yeah, noodle bowl is ready to go. Off to a good start. Ooh, the onions are just now going on the pan over there in kitchen number two. <laughs> I'm a little nice farther behind than Kurt. <laughs> nom nom. He's gonna have to really good. come strong on the on the uh, flavor and the presentation. Food's ready. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Yeah. Today we're heading to a new campsite on the other side of San Jose. It's a farm with a nice waterfall hike. We'll definitely miss the cool weather up here, but swimming in a waterfall sounds really refreshing. Let's come up here to get water. I was just sitting here at our picnic table here. Got the van V formation and over here, Kurt's feeding some cows. So these are our neighbors for a couple nights here. And one is just a baby. And there's waterfalls down there. We got pretty much private access. Senor. Whoa, Emily, what's going on over here? Yeah, Senor is a little close to my bedroom window. Oh, here it comes. Makes the sprinter look a lot smaller. Well, thank you. <laughs> the cows are tranquilo. Here we go today, off on a hike with Kurt from our camp spot. Should be some waterfalls down there. Hi, she's not Sombrita. carrying anything yet, but... Because you're supposed to go on a couple walks with her just having it on. And then we'll introduce her. while we load her up. Yeah. I think she likes the new bag. So we got some Britas' backpack. My mom brought it for us. Our friend Jenny, Adventures from the Van. She has a podcast and a blog. She suggested this backpack. So we got it so that some Brita can go backpacking with us and carry her own food and water and leash. Right now her backpack is empty because she has to get used to how it feels on her back before we fill it.
tell on the bottom it was pretty volcanic origin. Looks like Danny's going for beneath the waterfall round two. He's just trying to walk next to He's, he's saying it's cold. I don't like this river, there's the sun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like a nice sunny spot. Maybe I'll take a dip over there too. So this spot is really not far from San Jose at all. It's a beautiful waterfall. There's some hikes that you can do. Looks like Danny and Kurt found another little waterfall to hang out underneath. So now we're gonna cross this and take the old path that was destroyed by a storm, head upstream. Check out some more waterfalls here. Looks like a cave up here too. Well, it turned out to be pretty sweet hiking over here, right outside the van this morning. So we'll just make our way up this canyon and see what's in store for us. I'm guessing a waterfall and some caves. Well, it looks like we came and found the other waterfall here. So Kurt found a side hike here. Well, we made it down to the end here, enough to see around the corner. Good work! <laughs> it was like pretty shaky. I thought it might break if I hit mine. Kurt thinks he should go first. I've already tried a little bit to go over this bridge, but it is pretty dang sketchy. We just saw four people do it though. We so. just saw four people do it that were shaking it and jumping. And then we saw another two people with a dog doing it. This is the sketchiest part. Get out of there, Kurt, get out of there. Oh man, this bridge is sketchy. I instantly thought, nah. Oh, okay, this is the sketchiest part. Sketchy. Oh, you guys. How many corners are there to this place? Looks like Rika found us another trail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's over here. Looks like Emily's 
testing out this bridge here. on a hike I like to just keep going find something like this now it looks like we're moving away from the river and it's opening up so where are we alternate exit it's a road we could sleep there oh wow <laughs> Headed back across the rickety rope bridge. Yes! There they are, Vince. We're coming for you, kitties. We had such a great time hanging out with Kurt while Snow flew back to the U.S. And we can't wait to see her whenever she gets back. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more videos, hit the thumbs up and subscribe.